In this demonstration we're going to have a quick look at the cluster.log file. The cluster.log file will allow us to troubleshoot and also as well give us support relating to our Microsoft cluster. I've come to one of my cluster nodes and on my cluster node all we're going to do through Windows PowerShell is we're just going to run the get hyphen cluster log command. So at this point here we'll just hit the enter key and now what we'll do is we'll just come into Windows Explorer and in Windows Explorer we'll just go to C colon then Windows within Windows we're just looking for the cluster folder within the cluster folder we'll come to reports and then what we're looking for here is we're just looking for our cluster.log file in our cluster.log file if we just expand this up so if we have a look down here what we've got up at the top here we've got information relating to the cluster current node is long hyphen serve 3 nothing shutting down at this point here we can see the processes how long they've been running if we scroll down a bit further what we can see is we can see information relating to the actual cluster itself so as you can see there is quite a bit of information in here sorts of things we'll be looking for here is we'll be looking for words like heartbeat to ensure heartbeat is going between the nodes we'd be looking for anything with netft to relate to network related issues also as well we'll be looking for any words with uh, accept in there and in the case of accept that would be for entries that pertain to accepted inbound connections from remote endpoints and also as well if we look for the word sv and that will pertain to any entries that pertain to securing a route between nodes as with most things that we can do within here if we want to look for specific words what we can do is we can click on the actual edit button and at this point here we can select find and then look through for information relating to anything we type in but uh, information that we've currently got here we can see the cluster networks that have been added to the failover cluster we can see the network names themselves we can see that node lon svr3 was successfully part of the cluster and if we keep going as you can see there is mountains and mountains of information but that's the end of this demonstration of a very quick overview of creating and then reviewing the cluster.log file thank you